Okay, good morning from Minneapolis. Uh, I'm here at the Galaxy Community Conference 2022 and I'm here with Kyle Arrot from OHSU. Hello Kyle. Welcome to Minneapolis. Um, so today we're going to talk with Kyle because he was a session chair at mm -hmm. the session 7 on science talks. Uh, Kyle, I just wanted to know from you what were, what were your impressions about, about the sessions, any great talks that you heard, anything that you learned or anything that you'd like to share with the viewers? Well, I really like this, uh, the, this session because it was science first. It was very much about like what was science is going on, and then after talking about the science, then it was about you know how does that gal you know how does galaxy improve that. So I really like that science first perspective. Mm -hmm. Me personally, the stuff that I'm excited in actually uh, Dr. Gex's uh, presentation on deep learning and machine learning, very interesting stuff to me. So I'm interested really to see how galaxy kind of advances and you know which is everybody. You know, machine learning is a hot topic right now. Deep, everybody wants to be doing deep learning. To see that in the Galaxy framework made usable for users in a very easy to um, kind of manage fashion is very exciting. Right. Uh, any other notable talks that you'd like to mention? Oh, I also really liked the. Uh, um, it is really interesting to see when Galaxy is on that cutting edge of um, almost human health facing stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, again, you're. Jeremy's work is on cancer, but then we also saw like the COVID talk, right. which is again very you know um, important for like what's going on right now and very translational, you know, bringing Galaxy into like you know what where where it can actually help human health and, and I think that's really interesting to see. Great, great. Uh, thanks for attending this in person. Uh, just wanted to ask a question uh, on uh, for people who are attending this online. What is that they are missing by not attending in person? I think the the biggest thing is the, the, the spontaneity of just meeting random people and, and also people that you forgot that you met, you know, five years ago. And it's like, oh, I remember this person and then you could just have a random conversation, catch up. And, and I think, you know, online forums, it's easy to miss that kind of interactivity and spontaneity. Um, and I think that is really valuable for generating new science. I think um, uh, especially, you know, a lot of like, you know, up and coming researchers, people that are getting started, mm -hmm. the ability to network, talk to new people, get outside of their field of comfort, really helps catalyze uh, new research ideas and kind of move people forward. So I think that's um, one of the things that's been missing from the online uh, things that I'm really happy to see come back. Very well said, and thanks again, Kyle, for attending in person and for this interview. Uh, we'll sign off right now. Uh,